Okay, dear students, let us see how to do this question. A radioactive nucleide X decays into another nucleide that is Y. The graph shows the variation with time of the activity A of X. X and Y have same nucleon number. Now, this is also a very important information here. Same nucleon number. So, whenever a radioactive decay happens, like it does not happen like this, like X is converted into Y. But there is something, some other subatomic particle that is released. So there are three those op those options. One is alpha particle, another is beta particle, or there is no particle but only energy that is gamma. So these are the three options that we have now. Now what else I have to say? Okay, um, I can tell you about the radioactive decay law and then I will tell you what is the activity of A and then we will read this graph. So, number one is radioactive decay law. What is radioactive decay law? According to this law, the rate at which the material or the sample is decaying or the rate at which the number of nuclei left in the sample is reducing, that is found to be directly proportional to the number of nuclei left in the sample. Okay, so lesser is the number left, lesser will become the rate at which they are breaking. So it will reduce itself. So that is the basic principle. As if a child is eating a chocolate, I would say. A weird example. <laughs> but yes, like uh, when the chocolate is more, they are eating more. And as the speed goes on and chocolate keeps on reducing, your speed of eating chocolate also reduces. Similar is the case with the radioactive decay. Okay, from this, when we are integrating it, we find the basic law that is n is equal to n naught, e raised to power minus lambda t. This is the basic law for radioactivity um, because of which we find these kind of graphs. All the graphs for the radioactive decay are this. They are the variation of y is equal to x, e raised to power minus x. All the variation is somewhere like this. Now, this thing, it is, there is... This is called like number of nuclei left, but there is something called as radioactivity. Or now you can call it like activity of the sample. So some samples are really active. So the disintegration is happening at a very fast rate. And some, some samples are very slow, but they, they are radioactive. So they, keep, they, they take a lot of time to, uh, to decay. So the, we say that the activity is very low. So what is the activity now? So this activity is generally written as capital R and this activity is given by minus dn by dt. So this generally comes out to be equal to lambda n. Okay, and from there we find this thing. So this is substituted as R here, lambda and n is substituted from this place as n naught into e raised to power lambda t. So this becomes R naught e minus lambda t. So there we are. If you need a, a little more information or little more description about this thing, like how we have derived this formula or something, I have tried my best to explain although, but even if you feel like that, even then you can just mention that in the comment section. So R is equal to R naught E raised to minus lambda D. Again, this is the activity for the, uh, for the nucleid X that is shown here. Now, let us come to the question. Now the question is, half-life so what is the half-life it started from this point it has to become half so one two three four five six so this will be the half and the half period will be 2t simple the same principle works for number of nuclei the same principle will work for the activity of the nuclei now one thing is sure that half-life is going to be 2t so either the answer is b or the answer is c now Will it be an alpha emitter or will it be beta minus? Now, what is alpha? Alpha is helium nuclei. So the mass number, atomic number is 2 and mass number is 4. So when alpha is emitted, the nucleon number has to be changed. It has to be reduced by 2. But it is given that it is not reduced. It is not getting reduced. It only means that we are now emitting beta minus so our answer is d because when beta is emitted mass number does not decrease all the best